So we just got finished with our breakfast and now we are going to be heading out to Quincy Mass. Well, that's where we are now. We're going to be going to South Boston, Boston, Cambridge, Somerville, back to Boston and ending in West Roxbury. Not sure if we're going to make it to um, all those locations, but yeah, we got about... What about eight or nine places that we are planning on going? Savers and Goodwill primarily. So we're going to go try to find some more books, media. Maybe I'll check out some more clothing today. But um, yeah, let's uh, get moving and try to find some deals. Look at the elevators even really nice. We're going to buy this place out by the end of our thrift store adventure today. Beautiful in here. I think this is a four-star hotel, I believe. All right, now I got to go pick up this bum that I just met at the hotel right now and uh, have her come along thrifting too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's my mom. Hey. Hey, hello. You getting rained on? Come on in. I told everyone I was picking a bum off off the side of the street. <laughs> now nah, this is my mom, Kathy. She's actually known as uh, my competition nowadays. Tell everybody, what are your goals today? How many, how many items do you want to find? I'd like to get 70 books. 70 books? I'm gonna shoot for 100 books today, and maybe some clothing. We'll, we'll keep you updated, we'll let you know if we uh, hit our goals or not. How far away are we from our first place? Minute and a half? Two minutes? I think so. Yep. Like you were saying, it's nice going out of state and seeing new places and having new experiences. Sure it's... is. <laughs> yeah, it is. Another Goodwill, there's my mother at the books. You doing over here? Um, yeah, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine books. Nine books, all right, getting close to your goal of 70 on your first thrift store. We're on pace if we do seven. I've got about one, two, three, four, six, seven, 14 or 15. I'm a little quicker, but uh, she'll be catching up soon enough. <laughs> Let's show everybody what we got in the trunk. This is over the last uh, day, and now we're on day two. I mean, the trunk is pretty much loaded up. We're loading up a few bags that we got today from our first Goodwill of day two, and it's raining out, so I apologize. But yeah, how'd you do? How'd you do? Oh, I did great. You I did got good? About 20 something books. I did good too. Spent about $45 and got about, I don't know, I got 20 books and I got a few shirts. So uh, yeah, we're headed off to the next destination. <laughs> headed off to Goodwill number two, 470 West Broadway, South Boston, Mass. And it's gonna be about 17 minutes. The traffic's crazy, look at this guy. He's gonna back right into us. <laughs> Gotta move out of his way or else he's coming to get us. Rainy day, everybody's got their umbrella out. Cruising the streets of Boston. Wow, look at that. The windmills, the water. You're not gonna see this in Connecticut. Well, at least in the part of Connecticut we're in. It's amazing, the little streets they have over here. The houses, they're all connected to each other. Look at this red building. Yeah, I know, what is that? The junction. Must be like a restaurant. Yeah, or... I see the Coors Light oh. sign there. They got the liquor store, gourmet coffee down there. And of course, at every intersection, there's a Dunkin' Donuts. To our uh, next Goodwill. I like it out here in the city. It's beautiful, do you? Yes. Uh, we're gonna find some deals in here. How many books are you gonna shoot for? 20. 20, yeah, because we're definitely not gonna make it to seven, so we're gonna have to start upping our uh, amount of items we get per store, so let's, let's do this. Oh my friend. What just Why happened? To me? I touched it and the whole thing fell over. I'm telling you right now, I did not do that on purpose. <laughs> did I cause this huge mess? <laughs> you all ready to head out of here? I like it good to take. What's that? Yes. Oh. 17. Oh, that's a good deal right there. I wasn't even gonna pick it up. All right, I'm done. Look at that. Ending our thrift store adventure at this place with a bang. What's that? 18 bucks? And what's it going for? Two bucks? Okay, so pretty much what happened was my mom, she wasn't with me. She was looking at the books and whatnot. 
and I started to go through the sweater section on the rack and I noticed that it started to tilt over a little bit. Like it was moving back and forth a little bit and I was thinking maybe it's just, it has a little pull back and forth just for all, to support all the weight. And next thing you know, the whole thing crashed over on the floor. Some girl jumped out of the way and everyone started running over like saying, what did you do? What did you do? And I said, I didn't do anything. I just touched it. Like I swear, I just touched the thing a little bit and the whole thing crashed all over. So they told me I'm not welcome and uh, they called the police. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, we're going to our next place. It's actually snowing out like crazy over here right now. So we're a little worried about that with all the traffic, but we're gonna try to make the best all of it. All right, so we are at our next Goodwill. We are actually in, let's see, what town are we in? I know we're in Boston. Yeah, Harrison Ave, if you're familiar. Looks like a pretty uh, good Goodwill. Uh, large in terms of size and there were some good reviews online saying that a lot of people found some really interesting items so interested to uh, head on in i already dropped my mother off she's in there grabbing all the good deals and uh, i'll keep you updated if i find anything interesting or if i knock over any more clothing racks this thing is a right? huge goodwill this looks like it's the size of a savers oh, jesus looking forward to this picking profits would have a field day over here Got a lot of goodies. Where are the mugs? My favorite book I ever found. I have never seen so much clothing at one Goodwill store. I mean, there's one, two, three, four, five, six racks of just long sleeve dress shirts. Crazy. I tell you, this place is awesome, but there's so much clothes here. The quality control is down like crazy. There's so many things with stains, rips, holes. You gotta be careful at these thrift stores sometimes, I'm telling you. Ended up finding a few interesting things here. Tommy Bahama, Brooks Brothers, another Brooks Brothers, Patagonia, DS Squared 2, look that up. Brooks Brothers, Tory Richard, flip it around. Robert Talbot, Ralph Lauren, Calvin Klein, Newwood Tags, and a Brooks Brothers Slim Fit. Check out these pair of pants right here, men's dress pants. These are for $5.99, but check out the uh, the date on these dress pants. November 25th, 1987. That's crazy, 26 years old. Leave a comment below in the uh, comment section. Let me know, would you buy these for $6? So we finished up at that Goodwill. We were in there for probably about two hours. Yes. There were so many clothes in there. I'm telling you right now, Mom, I've never seen a thrift store with so many racks of clothes. There was rack after rack after rack, thousands of clothes. I could have been there for seven hours if I wanted to. And there was a lot of books, too. I mean, right? Oh, yeah. Tell them how many books there were. There were quite a bit. There were definitely quite a few books. It was one of the biggest Goodwills that I've ever seen. So we're pretty exhausted. We're going to cut it short for the day. We could have went to a few more, but with the traffic and the amount of time we've been spending in these thrift stores... We don't really have the energy to keep going, so we're gonna go get something to eat and uh, we'll talk to you later. Goodbye, Boston. Here we come, Quincy. All right, so we got over to a place called Copeland Pizza. Rake and Fitness ain't doing so well right now, but I'm gonna get back on track again when uh, Monday comes around. But yeah, let's get some food in here and uh, get some rest. It's been a long day of picking. Uh, yep, waiting for our pizza. Do you think it's gonna be good? Oh, yes. Yes. I do. At this point, I think anything's gonna be good based on how hungry we are. <laughs> That's our hotel way at the top. Back and situated at the hotel. Got the pizza. As you can see, a slice is missing. I could not resist. Had to get it quick. But right here, we have a nice um, large onion and roasted red pepper and green pepper pizza. So we're gonna devour this right now and. Uh, kick back and relax a little bit, but we will see you guys around. Hope everyone enjoyed following us. We might come back to you with a few more segments of the video. Say goodbye to the hotel. It was nice while it lasted, but now it's time to go back to Connecticut. So we definitely had a great time over here in Boston. As you can see, it's snowed out. I'm just walking to my car in a parking lot. I just checked out. 
but have a great time doing a little out-of-state hustling and uh, learned a lot saw saw some new people and uh, some new experiences some new thrift stores it's it's always a good time just seeing you know different places I love the adventure and uh, definitely hope to do it again soon so uh, if you have any good locations or places in the country where you know there's a lot of good thrift stores leave a comment below but uh yeah time to find my car i forgot where i parked but uh i appreciate everybody watching and uh, so i'll way home you. and we took an exit to go use a bathroom and we ran across a saver so half off on savers today on sunday for club members we're gonna go in here and try to find some deals everybody waiting in line for the deals everybody looking for that 50 percent sale <laughs> They don't know raking profit and uh, Kathy profits in the house. <laughs> Doing pretty good so far at the half off. Got the whole carriage loaded up and found some crazy things. Check this out. Some Japanese brand. Uh, let's see if I can pronounce it for you. Jui Jimion Yang. $3,980. Not sure what currency that is, but it's $4 half off. Can't find anything on eBay, so not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a little more research, but uh, yeah, I'll keep you up. So we just left the Savers over in Framingham. Massachusetts I believe uh, today's Sunday and it was the half off day so I ended up getting a bunch of clothing spent about $123 got a lot of stuff half off got some PlayStation games new in the box from like the 90s and uh, mom you're behind the camera how did you do over there oh I got 13 books 13 books and what kind of books like kids or fiction nonfiction uh, one kids and the other nonfiction stuff yes and you said you were looking for like the the school books and stuff but you couldn't find any at all there were none none i think a lot of these um thrift stores i know goodwill's doing it they're starting to put like the school books online just because i think they know they could get more money so if you don't see school books at a thrift store either they don't accept them for one reason or another or they're selling them themselves online so uh yeah we're heading out of mass now heading back to connecticut pretty much wrapping things up I don't think I have anything left in me. How about you? None. None. We're out. No more fuel left in these uh, picker tanks. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Good old tolls in Massachusetts. How much do you think this toll is going to be? Could be $3. $3. How you doing? Doing good. One thirty. dollars It's dollar fifty. Would you take 80 cents? I'm just kidding with you. <laughs> nah, nah, they won't. Yeah. <laughs> Stay warm. Thank, thank you. So we made it back home. I'll give you a little preview of what it looks like in the back. It's all full. And I'll show you the trunk as well. I mean, it's just jam-packed. And that goes back like three or four feet. So I'll tell you right now, we got a lot of stuff, my mother and I, and we had a great time. So, uh... Yeah, just want to say goodbye. Thanks for coming along on this adventure, Out of State Hustling. Hopefully you guys do it sometime too because it's really a good time and it's something you will not regret. So uh, I'll keep you updated in the near future how I did, but thanks for coming along and take care. Peace.